Could you please tell the difference between equity and equality and why is equity dangerous? Well, it's not actually equity and equality. It's equity and equality of opportunity. Well, you know, it's a truism, I think, that's agreed upon by liberals and conservatives alike that the interests of individuals and society are best served by opening the door to the participation of all who are qualified regardless of their of attributes in domains that have nothing to do with the qualifications for the position. So imagine that as a worker, um, and that would include managers, executives, etc. As, as a worker, you have a function like a tool. You're a tool. And, and I wouldn't, you know, huh, I wouldn't be too down on that. It's, it's good to be good for something. And um, we, it's in society's best interest that those who are able to be the most efficient tools are the ones that are placed in the position. And so you want to open up the competitive landscape to all players, not least so that society can most effectively exploit the people who are most productive. Now, it also has the side benefit of allowing individuals to utilize their talents and to take their place in the social world. But people are very diverse in their abilities, like incredibly diverse in their abilities. And that's mostly evident, for example, in the domain of intelligence you know because well the 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 range that includes the majority of people runs from an IQ of about 85 or let's say 70 to an IQ of 130 although there's plenty of people who are outside those domains it's like at 70 you're pretty intellectually impaired right you're not going to graduate from high school with an IQ of 70 and except under very very extreme circumstances with an IQ of 83 which is about 10% of the population, 85 is 15%, you're going to have a hard time reading well enough to follow instructions. You know, and with an IQ of 115, you're going to do pretty well at a, a sort of mid-level community college. And so, an IQ of 145 is going to prepare you for like high success in complex domains, say like law or, or, or managerial positions where the environment is transforming very radically. There is immense differences between people in their cognitive ability and so, and in their conscientiousness, and in their negative emotionality, and in all, and in their energy levels, and all, and in their creativity, and all sorts of traits, and because of that that individual diversity, there's no reason to assume that there is going to be equality of outcome, and that's what equity is. For you don't want to uh, organize your society such that every single category of outcome has exactly proportional representation from every single possible category of person because that isn't you you have to use so much social force in order to make that occur that the consequences the negative consequences will far outweigh the benefits it's better to open up the marketplace to allow a very large range of hierarchies to emerge and then to let people compete for their position to compete and cooperate for their own positions and the other problem with equity is like who the hell is going to make the who's going to decide which groups are going to be categorized you want to here's an example for you let's imagine you stratify the population by IQ which which we do by the way although although we don't do it as evidently and obviously as we do say by sex or perhaps even by race are you, would you actually recommend that an equal number of people be drawn from every category of IQ to be surgeons i mean that's palpably absurd so there's too much social engineering required to produce equity of outcome. Now, well, having said that as well, um, the, the, the historical data on equity are absolutely clear. The societies that have tried to aim at equity are the terrible communistic societies of the 20th century. And they were so goddamn, mi so unbelievably um, murderous. And, and counterproductive that it, it beggars the imagination and so I can't even believe we have a conversation about equity because it's such a pathological idea it's it's completely invalidated by the historical data so